In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can add polynomials. But before we do, let's establish some vocabulary that work with polynomials. The first important word is a term. A term is made up of numbers and or, it could be one or the other, variables multiplied together. For example, a, b squared is a term. That's all multiplied together. Even 5x would be a term. Negative 7 would also be a term because there's either just variables and numbers multiplied together, one or the other. And based on the number of terms that are in an expression, we could assign a name. For example, a monomial is made up of one term. So maybe 5x squared, one term. A binomial with the prefix bi means two terms. And the way terms are separated is with either an addition or a subtraction sign. So we might see a squared minus b squared. These two terms are separated by the minus. A trinomial, then, with the prefix tri, means three terms. For example, ax squared plus bx plus c. They're separated by the addition and the subtraction, so we have one, two, three terms in this expression. A polynomial, poly means many, is made up of many terms. And actually, polynomial is kind of the blanket term that covers all of these. Binomials, trinomials, monomials, and monomials are all polynomials. And a good example of something with many terms might be ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus exy plus f. There's many terms in that, many parts. And depending on what we want to do with polynomials, we can simplify them in different ways. One thing we might want to do is add polynomials. And adding polynomials simply consists of combining like terms, which is something that we've seen before. So let's see if we can do some examples where we add polynomials or simply combine the like terms that we're working with. In this example, we see there is a 4x cubed. Well, no, none of the other variables are cubed, so we've got 4x cubed in our answer. Then, we see negative 2x squared, which can be combined with the negative 3x squared, because they're like terms. Both with x squared gives us negative 5 of these x squareds. We also see a plus x, which can be combined with the negative 5x, giving us negative 4x's, because we always assume there's a 1 in front of the x. The last term that hasn't been combined yet is the plus 7, nothing to combine it with, so we'll put plus 7 at the end of our answer, and this becomes our simplified polynomial. Notice as we added the polynomials together, the numbers up front, the coefficients changed because we are adding them together, but the exponents did not change. With adding and subtracting, you will not see exponents changing. Exponents will stay the same. So for example, when we look at this next problem, if we're looking for like terms, we'll see the first term on here is a 3ab cubed. There's another ab cubed with the negative 2. 3 and negative 2 gives 1, a, b cubed, and we don't need to write the 1. Next, we see a negative 2, a squared b, can combine with the positive 4, a squared b, like terms, giving us positive 2, a squared b. And finally, the a, b can combine with the a, b's. 1 and 4 gives us 5 a, b's. So when adding polynomials, we're simply combining like terms, adding the coefficients, and making sure the variables and exponents stay the same as we add like terms.